Hello, Nuggets. Uh, so I was trying to think, I just did a video on Football Manager, on the upcoming Football Manager, what I'm going to do. And I was trying to think about what I was going to do for my video log. Um, I know what I was going to do. I knew what I was going to do and I know what I'm going to do, but uh, I didn't quite know how I was going to approach it. Um, but I got a letter from someone in England and uh, she's probably watching this. She says she's watching it. Uh, it's from Tina. I won't say your last name just in case. I don't know how this shit works, right? But I got this letter from Tina that was so beautiful and heartwarming and just, uh, it, I read it with Laura, my wife, and it made us both cry because <laughs> it was such a beautiful, I'm getting emotional thinking about it, but it was such a beautiful reach out across the void. Um, Tina, this was just, I can't tell you how much this made my day. It was just amazing. It made more than my day. It made my week, my month. It was just beautiful. And what she's doing, she's just took a risk and wrote a letter to me. And she's about my age, so we're just kind of the same. We feel the same way about these things. She probably thought, is this weird? I'm writing a letter to a guy I don't know. And she basically wrote to me because she was a fan of my mum. So I, my mum was a very famous actress. And I don't think I've mentioned this on the video because it's part of the reason I stopped making videos for a while and I just kind of got into a depression is that my mother passed away earlier this year. Um, about six months ago now. Where are we, October? About six months ago. Um, and it wasn't from, it wasn't COVID related. It was just, it was dementia and it was Alzheimer's and age and just all of the awful things that happen with it. And uh, she passed away. And she passed away at a time when we couldn't spend any time with her. So we were just one of those many tens of hundreds of thousands of families who have had to watch a loved one die on their own, right? Uh, now, she was with very good people, um, but we literally, it was at a time when you, we literally weren't allowed to go into the building at all. Uh, so it was very difficult losing her, and um, it was a relief losing her as well, um, because the pain was over, and it was such a horrible existence she had. But this is not about my mother. What this is about is that a fan of hers wrote to offer her condolences. Tina wrote to say... I'm not going to read it actually because I don't know it's private and I don't want to like upset her if this is, you know, she was like, no, that was just for you and your wife. That's not, it's not for everyone else. But she just said about how my mother affected her life, how much she loved her. She saw her, met her first when she was 14. And um, she then uh, saw her again when my mother did a play called Sister Cities that was written by Colette. So Tina, you've heard me talk about Colette a lot on this channel. Colette was the writer of Sister Cities, is the writer of Sister Cities, and has gone on to write lots of different shows, some great stuff, and maybe taking another thing to, see, to Edinburgh. But anyway, Tina came up and saw the show in Edinburgh. She was obviously a super fan. I'm getting really emotional thinking about this. She was just a huge fan of my mother. And just getting this letter reminded me about how incredible my mother was because you know fans write letters i've written fan mail actually and i always feel weird about doing it because i like i'm just i'm not usually a fan of things i do i love people and i respect what they do but i never felt the compulsion to kind of engage with them but occasionally you do occasionally there's some one person in your life that just has such a profound effect that you're like i want to meet them i just I want to just shake them and go, I think we're alike. I think we're alike, you know. And I think that my mum had that effect on a lot of people. And what makes her so, made her so beautiful is that she really was like that. She genuinely was. I've said before on here that she met fans in her life who came to meet her that she was then friends with for the rest of her life because she just loved human beings. And she saw pain and she saw joy and she saw all of that in people. And she was extraordinary. She was a, such a wonderful mother, you know. Um, she just did a really good job. She a really good job. And one of the good ones became famous. That's what happened with my mother. Genuinely one of the good people. I actually, you know what? <laughs> this is going to say weird non sequitur. But looking at what Marcus Rashford, the footballer, has done... All I can think is I wish my mother was alive because she didn't know anything about football, but she would have looked at that young man 
and cried and said, oh my God, I'm so proud of that young man. I want to write him a letter. I want to meet him just to tell him what a wonderful job he's doing. He knows that and everything. Total non sequitur, but I think of my mother for some reason when I think of what Marcus Rashford is doing with his life. He's a footballer who's doing something much huger than that. And it's, anyway, it's very beautiful. But Tina wrote me this letter and um, I just wanted to say how wonderful it was. Talking about how much she uh, loved my mother, how she met her. Uh, she talks about, this is hard for me to talk about, but how much she uh, loves watching me on here, which is amazing, and that there's no hidden agenda. There isn't, I can't hide anything behind this body, surprisingly. Um, it's all out for show, Tina. Um, and talking about weight loss and finances and depression. And I also wondered when I got this, because Tina's the same age with the same generation, I sometimes wonder if the issues I go through are very generational because my wife goes through it and a lot of my friends are going through it as well. There's something about Generation X that's just like, I think, I'm making a big assumption here, but I think sometimes we feel a bit like the lost generation. Like we're just in this in-between space where, I don't know, we don't feel that we've made a big enough impact. You know, obviously some of us have, right? But we don't feel that we've made a huge impact or that we didn't reach our potential, that we were never fully understood. I mean, you know, our generation was punk rock. Like that was a pretty big breakout, right? And then, but then we got older and we were also a little bit older when the computers really started to take over. So we kind of know them, but not as much as our children. And I don't know, I feel like we're this in-between where we kind of had everything and yet we felt very lost, you know. I don't know, I don't know. But that's, that's a video where I have to think about it. But I kind of felt when she, that, she, that Tina relates to that stuff when I talk about it, I think is a generational thing. And I think it's very understandable. She's very happily married. She's got, uh, what'd she say? She's got three kids. And uh, she'd be married, was it three kids? No, two beautiful grown daughters, dog, cat, several fish, and to be married for 32 years. And uh, they live in the country. And yeah, totally normal. You are normal. Uh, I just wanted to say that it's just so weird to get a piece of mail that takes a lot of bravery to write. Because it is hard to reach out, and especially if you're not a weirdo, <laughs> to reach out and say, I'm normal, I just want to say hello and I loved your mother. And that's really what she did. And so I'm just saying hello and I love you too, Tina. That was beautiful and my mother would have adored you. Well, I know you met her a couple of times. So she also uh, watches Laura. Laura wanted to read this out, actually, on her next show she does, on Checking In With The Peeps. I don't know how you feel about that, Tina, so comment. <laughs> Let me know if you feel okay with it. She would love to read it out because it is a beautifully written letter and just um, absolutely wonderful. And um, she wants to send love and thanks and hugs and I'm sending the same back to you and your family. That was it. Tina, you're adorable. Thank you so much. You have no idea what an impact is. And also a letter. No one writes letters anymore. I got a letter, part Avion. It was sent by mail, part Avion. It was one of the most exciting things that's happened to me this whole year. <laughs> Getting a letter. Because actually, whenever I get mail now, it's either junk mail or bills. It's just never, it's never good news, is it? It's never good news. Even our birthdays aren't that exciting anymore. So to get a par Avion mail from someone who loved my mother and says I miss her, because I miss her too. And um, I love you very much. Thank you very much, Tina. All right. Bye, you nuggets. Bye. I'm going to go over cry now. <laughs> okay. <laughs>